What's up YouTube, Dow here from Zephyr Games, bringing you the Ignite Zexal test hand video from the deck profile that I did the other day. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do three test hands going first and three test hands going second. Now our main target with this deck is to get Zexal out and see how consistently we can get Zexal out. Um, other than that we're just going to see what bigger board we can build uh, and how much damage and resistance we can put up against a fight. So like I said, three going first, then we'll do three going second uh, and see what we can do. So. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, five. Damn, I wish I was going second. That's a nice first turn hand, actually. So if we go Painful Decision and Summoner's Art while we're at it, so bear with me. Um, Summoner's Art will, uh, well, Painful Decision will send Templar and we'll add a Templar. And um, we'll add Gallon off of Summoner's Art. Now, considering I'm not going... Uh, actually no, don't worry about that. So we'll put these two in the scales, we'll pop those, and we'll get out our veteran, which is, there we go. We will scale those up, two and a seven up there, and we'll pendulum summon out Vision Hero Violon, Gallant, and Templar. Violon's effect will go off to send Malicious from deck to Grave. We'll banish that Malicious to special summon out a Malicious. Overlay Malicious and Gallant into Beatrice. Beatrice, Detach, Malicious, send the rank up, um, rank up Beatrice into Gaia Charger, effect of magic, add back to hand, and we haven't normal summoned yet, so do not worry, um, overlay these into Utopia, where are you, and then into C39, then into Zexal by discarding this, then Normal summon Denko. Over to you. Standby phase, detach, neg defects for the turn. You can't set your spells and traps. Pass to me, draw. <laughs> That's got to be game. Um, they cut, like, alright, you put your Dryden out, whatever. Your Dryden now has to choose does it take out the Denko or does it take out the Zexal? Takes out the Zexal, yeah, cool, whatever. You still got to worry about the Denko. So then I can beat over your Dryden and then go from there. Uh, so that actually was a very, very good start. Um, and then we top decked a level 6, we do have a um, Malicious Engrave, so we can extend the board even more and make another rank 6, whether it be M7 or um, Utopia Beyond. So that was a very, very good hand. Gotta love Denko, it's one of my favourite cards ever. Uh, it might be less relevant in the upcoming metas, just because, not that people aren't playing back row, but because... Um, Certain decks, like, Paleos aren't a bigger threat as much now, purely because, you know, Dracos and all that are a little bit unaffected by them. But they're still around, and Denkos are a very, very nice generic side engine or a side card um, in most decks. So, one, two, three, four, five. Turn two. So, Terraform is not much help right now. Um, well, it's okay. Because we'll search out our be baby rider top. No, there we go. Ignition Phoenix. So all ignite once per turn. You take one in like card. You don't want it. All right, that's actually not too bad because now we can go activate Phoenix. Phoenix to pop Templar. Search out um, Paladin. Um, activate a second Ignition Phoenix. Uh, ignition Phoenix pop Gallant. Search out. Um, where are you? Why is my brain gone dead? Uh, veteran, scale up, pendulum summon, one, two, three. Effect of the scales to pop both of those to search out whatever you want. A template. This is the, the risky part is you've left yourself out of scales, but you still have the Zexal play on board. So you go Beatrice, Detach, Malicious, Sky Charger. Um, Utopia, C39, and then that. So with your Beatrice, if you didn't see it in the first test hand, you dump that, then you rank up, and you add this back to hand, you use this, uh, so you special summon Zexal, dump in this to get Zexal out, during your opponent's stamp, so you pass turn, during your opponent's stand by phase, detach, neggle your opponent's effects for the turn, uh, and then move on. And obviously the difference in this one is, because we haven't got Denko on board, they can set their spells and traps. 
but it still does quite a bit of damage. Right, that was quite savoury to a point, and that wasn't with the best of openings, but you know, that's the ability of being able to pendulum someone out malicious as well. So that was test hand number two, and our second one going first. So let's do our final test hand going first. See if we can get one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's horrible. But I think that still gets you Zexor. So have a look. So just because that summoners are summoners are into Gallant, Gallant and Paladin. Pop both of those. Go into. Let's get another Gallant, Gallant and Templar. Pop both of those. Get a Veteran, Veteran and Paladin scales. Pendulum four, yeah. There you go. That's still a hand. So Beatrice, uh, Utopia, Utopia Ray. Um, so Beatrice, detach to send. Guy Charger, Zexel, and then you still got a normal summon of this, or you could pendulum summon out if you want to. But I'd say hold on to him, and then to be safe during your opponent's turn. Uh, Maybe during your standby phase, if you go pop these, just so you get another scale in hand. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, you can get another scale in hand during your opponent's turn. Do that, neg that, and then you've got scales in hand to activate and go again. Um, not to mention whatever you top deck. If you top deck a Denko, happy days, you're protected. And nine times out of ten, I would like to say that would be game. Okay, so thanks to the summoners up. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our going second test hands. Now, same rules apply when I do second test hands. Is um, if I have board wipes, if I have board clearance, if I have denkos and stuff like that, I'm going to play them. I'm going to be as pushed as I can. If I don't have them, we're going to just fly with it and hope that our opponent doesn't have any else. So we made Zexal going first three out of three times. So that's pretty consistent. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Not too bad. So that's our opening five, and then we're going to draw for our turn. Right, we're going to regeki the board, just to be clear of any um, mischievous um, monsters. Then we're going to Painful Decision and Summoner's Art. So Summoner's Art gets us Veteran. Painful Decision will get us Templar. Send in a Templar. Um... Well, it probably should have been a, a level uh, scale 2, really. So, actually, yeah, we'll change veteran. Just just so I know I've got a 2 in hand, just in case. For Gallant, instead, from Summoner's Art. Shuffle the deck up. We could have done Upstart first if we wanted to. But I wanted to make sure I'd already searched out what I needed. Uh, upstart Goblin. Give my opponent a K. Draw into a Denko. Ah. Oh. oh. Normal Summon Denko. Lock down my opponent's backboard. Not only has his full run board been nuked, but so has the backboard. I don't really worry now because I can now just go desires. I don't need to worry about what I banish. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Not bad at all, actually. Uh, well, not brilliant, but not bad. Um, right now, I can gamble it. I can gamble it for a free card uh, recycle using um, ignite reload. Now, if I activate reload, I've got a hope that I get what I need. So I need three ignites. That's all I need. I believe. Yeah, three ignites. Uh, hopefully a level six. One, two, three. Oh, that's so disappointing. Oh well. Um, meh, it's okay. It's not great. So you'd scales. Don't have to, but you could pendulum out your malicious if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it, unfortunately. Well, that's a depressing second turn board. Like, I've nuked my opponent's board, I've s stopped them doing their back row. Um, but you know, sod's law, you draw into a desires off a of desires, it shows you how it works. Anyway, let's go on to test hand number five, and our second one go in second. See how much damage and devastation we can do. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not bad at all. So, okay, board wipe to be safe. Uh, not messing around. Drop a Denko, lock out completely. Right. Rhoda, summoners up, painful decision. Rhoda gets a Templar. Um, summoners up, gets a Gallant. Painful decision, gets a Paladin. Well, actually, I'll take that back. Rhoda gets a Vision Hero. Painful decision, still get us a Paladin. And then our Summoner's Arc can get us a Veteran. There we go. Where are we? Um, I've got to send a Paladin. Right, so that all goes to Grave. Board wipes done. Back rows locked out, unless our opponent's got a warning. Then we go. Uh, scales. Pendulum Summon. Uh, effect of Vision Hero Violon to send. Malicious. Banish that Malicious to Special Summon a Malicious. Now, you to go into your Zexu, you will have to unlock your opponent's back row. Um, that is kind of the only way you can do it. But you can still go if you wanted to. You still do your rank 6 plays. Um... But at this point, because like, if, okay, if you want to unlock your opponent's board, you go Beatrice, Detach, Ditch, um, Guide Charger, Add Back, Overlay, that's your Zexal play right there. But you've had to put in a massive risk unlocking your opponent's back row, depending on what they've got. Uh, but then you're doing 4k and then 26 directly, so you've done 6 6 to the, your opponent already. Or you play it safer and you just do 26 from that, 17 from Denko, um, and then 1,000 from Vylon, uh, and kind of leave it at that. Okay, let's go with our final test down guy in a second, and see what we can do. Okay, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's interesting, okay. Oh, hello. Um, no board wipes, no Denko, so we have to go with it. Uh, unexpected die, get us out a Paladin, I believe. Yep, there we go. Paladin. Uh, and then normal summon your Vylon. Your Vylon sends your Malicious. Um, you can then scale into your uh, 2 and 7, pop those. That effect, uh, scale effect, search out your Paladin. There's your scales. Pendulum Summon. You can bring out your Violon if you want. That is entirely up to you. Um, or, your better way of doing it before you Pendulum Summon is overlay into... Because this is where we can extend our border that little bit further. Go Utopia, right? Then Pendulum Summon out. Free. Then banish malicious to bring out a malicious overlay with your gallant gallant uh, into Beatrice standard Beatrice play detach your malicious if you want to extend if you think you're 500 off a game you can do it that way um, and then we're going to be ranking up into that and that gets us uh, this to hand. Oh, to grave and then back to hand, and you dump that. Well, first of all, you go into that one, dump that, get into your Zexal, overlay that, those two. Now, this can be anything you want. You can go Tornado Dragon, you could go Castell, you could even go Samurai. Or, if you really, really wanted to, you could go into Utopia the Lightning. So, you've got many, many plays with that one. Um, 5k over whatever. 4k over whatever and then 26 over whatever so yeah you can see um how good zexal would have been if we were able to play in europe the same time as um united states got it but you know that's not the way the cookie crumbled the cookie crumbled this way and you know we we deal with it and we play with it and we go with it um so yeah that is it Thanks for watching. I hope this gives you an idea of the deck. I hope it helps, you know, kind of get your head around some of the plays. 
Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up on the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share the whole nine yards. And until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling. If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available? We've got more deck profiles, pack openings, and of course, duels. And don't forget to click on the most important button of all, that subscribe button, right in the bottom left-hand corner.